So guys, I'm here with Dixie. Um, she's in here because we are assuming she has a bow tendon. Uh, we'll get back to that last. So, she is a quarter horse. She, I would think her color is a dark bay paint. We have our white spots here. Any white spot above the knee that's bigger than a quarter will classify her as a paint. And she's brown with black points, so that will classify her as a dark bay. Um, we will go ahead and check her out. So her weight, she weighs about 850 pounds, which is normal for her height. She is about 15'1 to 15'2 hands, depending on the day or where she's standing. So I don't have a working thermometer right now, but I would assume, considering the circumstances, that her temperature is probably about normal at 100.5. We can check her pulse right here. So I would say her pulse is kind of on the fast part of the normal side at about 42 beats per minute. Just because it's a little cold outside, she's having to kind of shiver and stuff to keep her blood pumping. We're about to blanket all of them right now. Um, her respiratory rate. I would say it's about 12 breaths per minute. So, um, let's see. There's no signs of dehydration. Her skin's down. She's waiting for her food right now. Overall, she looks healthy with a body condition score of probably about six. She's a really healthy weight for her size, but because we have her diagnosed with that bowed tendon, I kind of like to see her at about a four or five just so there's less weight that she's bearing on that hurt leg and it'll help with the healing process. Uh, overall, she's gentle and social. She's tied up. She's not sitting back or anything. She was a little hard to catch probably because it's feeding time. She was slightly standoffish, but that kind of comes with the personality of her and theirs. Um, her ears are clean. There's she doesn't like them touch, but I mean, that's very normal. They're usually, they don't seem very sensitive. She's not in pain. She's just, horses don't like their ears touched. They're ticklish. Her eyes, they're clear. There's no discharge at all. All the flies are dead, so there's really no irritation possible unless there was something wrong with her. Her nose looks really clean for it being for being cold outside, it's not really runny at all. There's no sign of a cold, which I can expect from this kind of weather. Weather, it's been very wet and rainy and gross, and it was a quick transition. Some horses get really sick when it gets flipped up like that because we live in Texas. We can go ahead and try to check her teeth. So her teeth are white, through there pretty big probably can't see from there. She's only nine years old, so she's still got a lot of life left in her teeth. Whoa. She had them floated last year, so we don't, we're don't we not due for that. Mucous membrane is a nice color of pink. It's okay, girl. Oh. Let's see what else do we have. So there's no oral pain, obviously. She was just naturally sensitive about her mouth area, as most horses are. I'm not gonna assume that there's any pain. Uh, she didn't have any issues eating. She's not having any issues dropping food. Nothing wrong with that. Her lymph nodes. I can't feel them. So I'm gonna assume that they're within normal limits. Her, there is no cough, she has no sign of a cold, nothing in her lungs, trachea is probably clean. Girl. No th thyroid gland palpable. So yeah, here we have no cough at all. There's no lameness. She is perfectly sound when she walks. If it wasn't so dark and cold outside, I would lunge her to show you. She has no limping, but the only reason we can assume that she has a bow tendon is one, because it's visual, and two, because she does get a little bit of an attitude when I ask her to stop or back up or put any significant pressure on that. So we can it's safe to say that she is in a bit of pain uh, back there, and we're going to get that worked out. But overall, she is a great confirmation. Her back is 
isn't too suede, isn't too level. Her withers are even with her butt. She's got a really nice hip set. Nothing, no significant post-leggedness. Her legs are under her, pretty straight. Good angle at the fetlock. Hawks look great. She's a good girl. She's got a nice shoulder. She's got a lot of muscle. So her hoop condition's great. We just had the farrier out. They're covered in mud right now. I would show you. Um, no fleas or ticks. No hair loss or itching. She has a great winter coat right now. No masses or sores anywhere on her that we need to be concerned about. Uh, we can listen for her heart and lungs. There's no sign of anything wrong going on there. No heart murmur, lungs sound clear. Now we can palpate her abdomen. She's not going to like this very much. But I can feel normal gut movement. Feels good, things are moving. No signs of colic, no signs of pain or masses. Definitely not pregnant. Really nothing significant there. I can bring the phone and we can prove that she is a female. So under her, we have teats. She has produced milk before, I'm not sure if she's foaled. Um, I don't have a good history on her at all, but it is safe to say that she has either had a baby before or she has some imbalance in hormones that have caused her to produce milk at some point in her life. I'm not going to milk her right now because I will get kicked. Um, not feeling that. Under here, all of her reproductive organs on the outside are intact. She's clearly a female. There's no signs that she's had any tears during foaling. Um, nothing about her says that she can't be bred. She seems to be very healthy. She has a really nice hip set. She's nice and wide from stifle to stifle. I think she'd make a good mom. I don't have any plans on breeding her anytime soon. She is not a registered quarter horse. She is just a little bay paint mare, but she's cute. She's great. So back to this bow tendon that I talked about earlier. i make sure she's not going to freak out, calm her down. So as you can see, it is on the back left leg. We can compare it. Sorry, I don't have anyone videoing. So we see our right leg. It's pretty smooth all the way down, very even. There's nothing up with that. And then down here on this side, it's okay. See, there's a little bit of sensitivity there. And then we can also see kind of a lump outside on her tendon, kind of right above the fetlock underneath that cannon bone. Right there. Definitely a sensitive area, so that could be causing a lot of issues. Bow tendons are usually performance-induced injuries, and so um, they're common in racehorses, any horses on the track. It's actually really common in younger horses that are put on the track before they're in shape or fit to do that kind of work. With her, she was at her trainer and she kicked a fence so, and her leg got very swollen there. So I think it's safe to assume that that is what caused her bowed tendon. And a bowed tendon, so the tendons are basically in a sheath. And when that sheath breaks, the tendons can kind of get out, out of line and out of the sheath, causing them to be bowed. So, um... That's going to be her diagnosis. Other than that, she's healthy as a horse. She looks good. She'll be fine. We're just going to have to give her some time off. There's some physical therapy options we can do. Um, we'll have to talk to a vet about that. But, yeah, thanks.